Hi, welcome to Personality Hacker. My name is Joel Mark Witt. And I'm Antonia Dodge. Today we're going to talk about the Myers-Briggs type of ISFJs, or memory harmony types in the genius style assessment. Now, this type represents quite a bit of the female population, and so most ISFJs are going to be women, but there is a percentage that are men, and I'll just be honest, I love this type. I mean, I know that they're my quote-unquote exact opposite. I'm an ENTP in the Myers-Briggs system, so ISFJs are supposed to be my exact opposite type. I love them. They are the stereotypical grandmother that takes care of you. I always think of Fred Rogers from Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood as sort of the consummate ISFJ. Yeah. And this type is just, there's so much about them to admire and appreciate and love. They're, they're basically sort of the caretakers of the world, and they do an excellent job of caretaking. Now, they lead with a process called memory, which means that they understand the world. They, well, they lead with a learning process, actually. They enter the world wanting to learn as much as they possibly can, but generally what they're doing is they're figuring out new information based on what they already know. So anytime they learn a new job, anytime they learn a new skill, they have to try to figure it out based on sort of a touchstone of what they've experienced in the past. And all of these memories end up becoming sort of a gestalt or sort of like a mosaic of how they see themselves or how they identify themselves. Yeah, and traditions are very important because what better touchstone for the past than passing a tradition down over time? Traditions. Uh, if in a business context, procedures, things that are reliable, that we can rely upon, that have been tr tried and tested, mm -hmm. and we know they work, we know they're really solidly vetted. Um, expert opinion is important to an ISFJ, uh, and getting kind of that expert feedback. And I think all of these things play in, and I think you'll see ISFJs, and Tony talked a lot about the kind of the caretaking role, but you're going to see a lot of ISFJs in business and commerce, mm -hmm. and showing up as as people who really know their stuff. They really have a command of whatever it is that their skill set is, whatever it is that they've had training in, whatever it is they show up to, they really know what they're doing typically. Yeah, they're usually very loyal to their jobs and they're very loyal to the skills that they have developed over time. So you're right, you're gonna see them in lots of different contexts. I always think of them as being, I think it's because I worked in an elementary school for a while and I remember there being a lot of ISFJ or memory harmony people in elementary education. And that totally made sense to me because if memories are part of how they see themselves, right? Like their identity has sort of been molded through all of these past experiences that they've learned who they are through these experiences, then they would want to have as positive an influence on people whose memories are so much a part of their identity, which is children, right? So going to schools and being part of the early education process makes a lot of sense for people of this type because memories are so important. And that also would hold true with what you just said about traditions. I always think of like holiday traditions that memory harmony people are fantastic at creating like these amazing holiday traditions because they want people to have good memories to take with them. They want them to have positive experiences that can become part of their you know, their identity. Yeah, if you're looking at our genius system, you might have taken this test and come out as an ISFJ. Uh, you'll see that your co-pilot is a process called harmony. And really, this is something that is looking to meet the needs of the people around you. It's, it's looking to create harmonious relationships, uh, meeting people's needs, mm -hmm. uh, making sure there's no conflict. You, you really have a knack for potentially hosting or being at the center of a social situation, understanding the nuance of social dynamics and how people show up in social settings. So this is uh, the, the kind of the counterpart to that memory piece, is that harmony piece that really shows up for you as an ISFJ. Yeah, m harmony is how you really become a gift to the world. The more you develop your harmony process, the more people are able to benefit from your amazing caretaking. And even if you're in business context or any other context, not just like a traditional caregiver, there's always gonna be this hostess mentality that you have or this caregiver mentality where you're kind of taking care of everybody else. And the more you can develop that harmony process and really kind of build relationships with other people, the more that they can benefit from your unique personality. I love when ISFJs show up with a generosity of spirit. Mm. I love that. The generosity of spirit, whether it's in business or in personal life or family or community, they show up with this idea of, hey, let's let's get other people's needs met. Let's have a generosity of spirit and let's see how we can co-create a 
a win-win for everybody. I think right. that's a powerful frame when INF ISFJs show up that way. Now, there is one caveat, which is if you look at the CAR model in the junior style assessment, the 10-year-old position, which is sort of the mirror opposite of the co-pilot, is a thinking process called accuracy. And that allows anybody who uses accuracy, it allows them to have some distance, some emotional distance from another person. And one of the things that can happen if an, INF, if an ISFJ spends too much time in that 10-year-old position is that they can take on a perfectionistic streak. If you're an ISFJ, you know what I'm talking about, right? Like, you know that there's a bit of a perfectionist inside of you. And if you go to the accuracy place, you'll start to get really attached to sort of the details of how perfect everything is, how accurate everything is. And you might lose some of that caretaking element. So we, we recommend that if you're interested, you take the genie style assessment. If you already have and you've come out memory harmony, consider getting the premium content, which talks about really some really good tips and sort of strategies for getting out of that 10 year old and into the harmony co-pilot, which is how you, you kind of, have less stress in your life, <laughs> less stress of putting so much pressure on yourself to be perfect all the time, and and more of a component where you're able to sort of share yourself with other people and have them think of you in very high terms, as opposed to having to have like everything sort of you know picture perfect. Yeah, and and as as somebody that has probably taken the assessment or is ready to take the assessment, if you if you come out as an ISFJ. Just understand that the Myers-Briggs system has been around for a long time. It's it's a stable system, and what we've done is we've taken that system, we've added onto it the ways you can grow as a person using this fundamental system and finding the ways that you can grow your harmony process. It's great. It's a great launching pad for you to grow as a person. It's a great place to start your personal development journey. So, what is one thing about this type? that most people don't know. What would you say is sort of one secret? You know, one thing I've noticed about ISFJs mm -hmm. is that they have a quirky sense about them mm -hmm. that I don't think, I, you know, they, they have to so many times feel obligated to show up in the world in a very professional manner or if you are a mom or a grandmother or uh, somebody in business or whatever, you got to show up and, and be that professional or that, or that uh, grown-up role. Right, the role yeah. is there, the position you're put in. But I think underneath there's this quirky sense, this mm -hmm. very fun, quirky sense that I think that a mm -hmm. lot of times the world often doesn't get to see about the ISFJ. And I think that, that you know, that's, it's a great part of your personality that I think is really neat. I, you know where I think it shows up the most is in, I think it shows up artistically. Mm -hmm. And in particular in in like the home. Um, I think actually people of this type, regardless if they're male or female, I think that they have like a very interesting artistic streak to them. And that's, I think, another reason why, like, okay, take for example, holidays, why yeah. they create these amazing holiday memories and experiences for other people, because they have just this knack of being able to do presentation yeah. that is a part of that quirky part of their personality that they can show up in sort of this artistic presentation way. I think that's something that people benefit from, but they don't really put a lot of thought into it. And they don't think this is actually a person who has a, a very creative point of view that maybe they don't, they don't like sort of showboat as much, except for all these like amazing it's sort not of as experiences. Flamboyant. Yeah, it's not flamboyant, it's more subtle, yeah. but I think that's definitely a big piece of who they are. Yeah. So thanks for going through this little riff with us on the ISFJ personality or the memory harmony uh, personality in the genius system. <laughs>